Thank you very much, Jim. I mean, what can we say about Jim? I mean, he's obviously quite the accomplished Toastmaster. Is there anything he hasn't done? I mean, how well do you know him, though? I met this man five years ago now. Has it really been that long? I mean, it shows on your face, that's for sure. It really does. I met Jim when he was a guest speaker in a leadership program we had here at Verizon called ISOP. And he came to talk to us about the future of our careers. Where were we going? And in this presentation, he showed us an image of an oil platform mm -hmm. that was on fire. Mm -hmm. And how people jumped from the platform into the frigid waters of the North Sea to save their lives. Little did I know <laughs> that that picture was a metaphor for his career. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who, who would have expected that he was teaching from such experience that the best thing to do is just get the hell out before it all comes burning down? This was a great program, by the way. A couple of you in this room were in that program, so you know what I'm talking about. I also mentioned that it was a program that we had, because unfortunately this program is now over. And I can't help but feel that Jim played no small part in that. <laughs> now, Jim, you actually left Verizon before the program actually ended. Okay, so maybe it was just in memorial of, of you leaving that they decided to end this program. But when I say you left Verizon, you didn't just leave once, right? You've you've actually left twice. Asked to leave. Asked to leave twice, <laughs> right? I was going to say, not necessarily if you're going to court, which begs the question. One must ask, who did you piss off so bad that they wanted to fire you twice? They didn't just want to let you go once. They're like, no, once is not good enough for this man. But it doesn't end there, does it? This illustrious career that our, our very own Dr. Jim, yeah, we've got to wonder where that comes from, right? <laughs> where, where he feels qualified to speak to us about burning off burning oil platforms that he probably started the fire on. <laughs> I had a cost accounting teacher in college. If anybody's familiar with cost accounting, it has to do with where's the money going, what do we have, so in other words, what sort of assets do we have, things like that. Well, every single company he talked about, he talked, oh, this was so bad, Falstaff Brewery, this was so bad, the Sarah Lee plant that had two years of product in their freezer. <laughs> every single story ended with, and then they shut the place down. <laughs> I couldn't help but think of the similarity here. I'm like, wow. Okay, so every place he ended up working for is gone. So Jim, you left here, sad to say, I suppose, for some of us. Maybe not for others, but for some of us. I won't mention you, not me, but anyway, you went to work for another company. What a great opportunity he had. They flew this man all over the world. They didn't want to work with him so badly, they sent him thousands of miles away. And he did such a great job spending their money that they have no other option but what? Fire him! <laughs> but, you know, I, I digress. Jim, Jim really is a, a great guy. He does some really good things. Where you work for now, for instance, you're developing websites for public schools, right? right. Mm -hmm. Every year, as, as you put it, much to the chagrin of your kids, he speaks at the Great American Teachings. But let me ask you a favor. Don't lead by example. Oh, okay. My kids need jobs. <laughs> Hopefully long paying jobs that they will one day support me in. And I'm, those of you with kids, I'm sure you feel the same way. Now, mind you, it's for public schools, so if your kids are in private schools, you're fine. <laughs> but Jim didn't just work for other people. Jim has his own business. Blue, blue elephant, can white elephant, some elephants. There's an elephant in the room nobody wants to talk about. Now this is, now correct me if I'm wrong, now, you consult with churches and help them sell stuff at sales? You do like white yes. elephant? Yes. No, 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 it's not white elephant. Exclusively. It's pink, pink elephant. You work with alcoholics, getting them to decide whether their delusions are substantive or not. No. Well, you did work with one pink elephant group, because you were in Vegas, which, where else are you going to see pink elephants but in Vegas, right? You gave a speech for ITIL, or about ITIL. And you've also given a speech on for IEEE, right? Their 2012 keynote address or something to that effect? That is true. Very nice. Was that a, a paid gig? No. 
No, it was not. Which explains why I triple E still exists today. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> but now, this was a roast, if you weren't aware. This is a roast. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> this is not retribution for what he did to me in my intro. They always they say they always you always roast the ones you love. And who do we love more than Dr. Jim? Mm -hmm. <laughs>